First I walked on the field, it was like beginning of the year. Everyone just comes up to me like, hey, nice to meet you. Hey, my name is blah, 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 blah. That, that doesn't happen in college, if you know. It's like, it's everyone's like kind of like superficial. It's like, hey, what's up, that's it. But in rugby, they actually care about you. And they, they tr actually try to get know more about you. And as I said, like, it's like brother. It's not like friends. It's not only like teammates. It's like we are like one family. Very intense version of American football with no pads and a lot more fun to watch. Unlike football, there's no stoppages. It's just constant playing, kind of like a soccer game, where when someone gets tackled, they don't blow a whistle and everyone switches the offensive line and the defense line. You fight for the ball on the ground, and it's you and your teammates trying to get the ball. It's no whistle that where the ref comes and hands you the ball. It's, it's, it's a war out there. Really, it comes down to physically, can you compete or play? Uh, I had, I've cracked my clavicle, separated my shoulder, broke my ankle, and there are things that you try to push through and you simply can't. And we all respect that people are going to try and push through it. But like I said, it really is, are you going to be productive and efficient on the field or not? If I'm going to not be able to make tackles, I'm not going to take the spot of someone else on the field. And so it does come down to, like I said, being smart or being tough. Uh, I prefer to lead by example on the field, make my presence felt by the opposition and energy felt by the team. But working from the sidelines, it helps. It's very beneficial to see when it actually motivates somebody else to work harder. When you see somebody who may be tired, who's trying to get to the next breakdown and they're not making it there and you scream their name and you see they look over and then they start running, they find that energy. And so not everyone has the ability to dig deep down in themselves, but then when you have someone else who you care about, who works hard with you, um, from all that training we did together, they know that you've been sweating and bleeding with them, and so when you tell them to get there, they're gonna get there for you. If there is no cone to your left, like rear, you will take a step to your left and race round <coughs> to the corner of the other end. As a coach, I, I believe I'm, I'm firm but fair. I, I would say I'm more of a technical coach than a, than a screamer or a shouter, you know, but I certainly can scream and shout if I, uh, if I need to do that. We just want a fair game! We want a fair game! When you're coaching, you, you, you need to get to know your players. You need to get to know which ones respond to being shouted at, which ones respond to a quiet word in their ear and arm around their, their, uh, their shoulder. So I've only been with the guys two or three months now, so I'm starting to work things like that a little bit, and obviously we'll do a little bit more uh, going forward. Three left shoulder, then we're done. The, the thing with college sports is you're, you're always losing guys. Um, you're always graduating from seniors. You've always got guys going abroad. Um, you, you, in a sport like rugby, you're always going to pick up some injuries, but um, it's just part and parcel of it, really. And the idea is that you just you train more than your starting guys. You, you got to have a good squad base ready for people to just step in when they're uh, when they're needed. All right, over the top, tricep. <laughs> uh, for, I, I would say for the majority of the part during the game, I am a silent leader. Um, I think kind of going back during my earlier playing years, uh, I was never one to kind of. I wasn't really the guy to kind of rile everyone up pre-game and get all hunky-dory and all that kind of thing. Uh, I feel like emotional is good to kind of play with your heart out on your sleeve, but for me personally, it kind of takes away from my uh, kind of capabilities and my focus during, during the game of play. So I like to have a kind of a clear mind and be able to kind of be fluid out on the game to really maximize my uh, performance out there. 15 is one really means that when you're out on the field, it's everyone plays for each other and it's not just 15 individual guys going at it it's we're all one unit and one team just trying to accomplish the same goal having that brotherhood the 15 as one is so critical to the sport because you have no pads you have no stoppages after someone gets tackled you only have your rugby brothers you only have those and because you only have those, you have to develop that sense of community, that bonding, and that's where the 15 is one comes in.